Alright. So, level 2. Alright, so, this will just show your stats. The magic, attack, and defense, that's for magic, well, it just registers MG for some odd reason. But attack is just attack, but HP is the most massive thing for you to do. But we're actually going to choose power. That way we can increase our defenses. So, this is the first mini boss. This is a hammer throw. And this will, uh. Oh, crap. That, that was not context. Crap. Okay, so. Spine. Spikies. <laughs> so, spikies are a bit easier to take out now that we've bubbled up. Since now you will land much harder hits. But they're pretty easy to take down, and they give a lot of HP. Well, uh, experience. But this is your first uh, mini boss. This is a hammer bro, but these are hammer bros. These guys will do a lot of damage. Uh, about five HP hit, I do believe. So the biggest thing for you to do is probably use uh, is for you to use the uh, jump ability. And hammer time will do about some odd hits, but if you use A to block, then you will then it'll do about three to five HP damage. So the hammer rows I do believe have 80 health each. I'll have to check it out. I'll put it in annotations or edit it in the video later. But these bosses are pretty easy to take out. Now the standard hits are just a little bit easy to. Uh, to defend against too, but these guys have very low uh, magic, so they'll only do hammer time once or twice. And I'm out of uh, flowers, so I'll just have to punch them. Now, you see, your punch will do a lot less damage than usual, so we'll just uh, punch them and help. <laughs> uh, so hammer time will only be on once to three times, and that is a pretty low health. I should probably fix that. Oh, okay. okay, so the coins I give out is like, I don't know, we'll find out. So ten coins each, and you get a flower jar. A flower jar gives you three flowers. Three flower points. And toad and contact base awesomeness will give you the hammer. The hammer is your first weapon. It'll be pretty easy to it'll be pretty easy to uh, use. It's uh it's well it's a hammer. It's well it's actually a weapon. You can't choose in between. So that's why it's not Paper Mario or anything, but it's pretty awesome to use. So you just The hammer accessories, the hammer weapon is pretty good. The flower jar will increase your uh, flower points by three. That'll be really helpful. So now you can land three jumps. This will be extremely helpful later on. Okay, so going into the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, this will be a pretty massive uh, text based game alone. Uh, there's actually a frog coin here. I'll try to get it, but if I fail, this is the only chance you've got to get it. You have to jump on the toad's head, and then the coin's just up there. And I can't believe I got it on the first try. <sighs> okay. Well, that's pretty much one frog coin that you can get. I'm, I don't think I'm going to try to get 100% yet, but it'll be a good idea for me to get later on. Since this is my first LP with commentary, I'll, uh, I'll think about getting 100% in later. So, I do know that I'll be getting uh, the part, the most damaging weapon and biggest armor yet in this game. Uh, well, now comes that awesome uh, body acting.
yeah, let's just say that it's pretty good body acting for a Mario game. So especially since it's, like, extremely fast, so you have to absorb a lot of it at once. Alright. Yeah, now comes probably one of the funnier parts of this game. It'll obtain a map, and it'll help, and it'll help you a little bit, but it won't help you that much. Now, the I think it's called the armory or the vault. I didn't, I couldn't see it that well. Whoops. Forgot to go into the armory. This is another context base. This is uh, the first character that you'll obtain in this RPG. It's called Mallow. Uh, I call it an it because it's a little bit easier to say than he, I guess. But I don't know. But Mallow is well. You'll find out later. I'll just not spoil anything for you. All right, so. Pretty much, when Mallow cries, it will rain, and it's, uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, going to be a bit complex. It's gonna be worth something later on. Alright, so, this is pretty much a tutorial on what, what you'll be able to obtain. So, You'll obtain ten coins, you'll obtain a flower, so this so this will give you an extra flower that'll bring us up to sixteen, and then this is just a mushroom. It'll say you'll restore your flower points and everything, but that's a lie. They'll only restore your HP. Syrup, however, will restore your HP. And I think there's something in here, I'll have to search. I guess not. Alright, so since we've, uh, finished up getting all the stuff from the armory, we'll, uh, go back outside to where it's raining, oh no, and talk to the first character. Jeez Louise. My capture is kind of weird, because, like, Apparently my computer keeps on lagging out and everything. Oh great, drop frames. What a drastic over go. So this is a so this is one of those context based ones where you're supposed to jump. Alright, so since I keep on uh so since I keep on lagging out, I might have to cut this video out short, but it looks like it's going better now. So first off, you can go in here. This is the inn. I'm going to save here, because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do when you've gone through a, m a massive amount of the game. And what you're seeing is all the saves. The first and the third save actually came with the game uh, that I got from Amazon for 35 bucks, And it's pretty good considering... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm lagging quite a bit, aren't I? I don't know, I'll have to check it out in the video, because it's lagging during capture, but I'm not sure if it's going to lag during game. During the video. So, if you go in here... So, if you go here, then, uh you'll obtain the pick-me-up, which is kind of like a Phoenix Down or a Revive in the other games. Once again, the face palm of Nintendo. Fainting. Alright, so Mallow is, uh, magic. He's like a red mage in, uh, Final Fantasy. He does multiple attacks. He'll do healing attacks, and he'll do damage attacks. 
So it's pretty helpful. So, Proko's a thief. He'll try to steal from you... twice, I think, in this game. We'll find out. So, the first thing you have to do is spike these, in order for you to understand. Uh, the spikies will be easily defeated with the hammer, since it'll do a massive 40 damage. But Mallow uh, is a magician, like I told you, and he does the awesome attack, Thunderbolt. Which, if you can time, will do a large amount of damage. And Mallow, however, has a low amount of uh, defense, which is why you have to concentrate most of his level, level ups on a... Uh, why you have to concentrate most of his level ups on uh, attack, which is the left base one. Alright, so we'll save here and I'll cut this episode short because, well, my, uh, my thing's weirding out a bit here. So, in the next episode, we will take on Croco and we will sooner or later level up Mallow. So, have a nice day.